Northern California Power Agency is located on the North Fork of the Stanislaus River. The project has the capacity to generate 250 megawatts of power. NCPA has 15 members serving 700,000 residents. My name is Sandy Rainey. I'm the Hydro Technical Supervisor for Northern California Power Agency. The things that keep me up at night are equipment failures. That's a burn spot. So this is a generator stator winding Robel bar. This is a partial discharge burn area. We have to repair this before we have a failure. So if we take a look at the partial discharge screen, so we were running the units hot, loaded, and you can see the partial discharge here in, in orange start to increase. Uh, based on this information, we scheduled an inspection made some repairs, went into our outage, came out of the outage and we're seeing very low levels. One of the advantages of the dynamic readings monitoring system is a traditional coupling capacitor, which is a sensor, is installed out the outside the generator or possibly in here. What we have on this system is we use the RTDs that are embedded in the windings as antennas. So we install a special module. So a traditional partial discharge system would look out here. We're actually looking at this as well as with the RTDs, we can see way down into the windings. I was in the process of looking for a portable partial discharge test set. And for the amount of money that a test set would have cost, I was able to purchase a continuous monitoring system for both generators and both transformers. The advantage of this continuous 24-7 monitoring is you see what the condition of the transformer is at operating temperature. The system that we have, we monitor the generator and the uh, GSU main transformers. As a result of those two systems, we overlap the isophase bus. Uh, we were picking up noise external to the generator. Uh, dynamic ratings took a look at that and said, well, approximately 14 feet from the coupler toward the transformer, there's a problem. So we scheduled an outage, went in, took a look, and basically we had loose hardware on an insulator that supports the isophase bus. It could have been a, a bus failure. If you are in the process of generating and you have a transformer or a bushing failure, you might be down for weeks or months, depending on if you can locate a spare transformer or find somebody that has one or get yours repaired. So having that online monitoring and seeing what's happening that you can schedule some additional testing or investigation during the outage is, is critical. It's cheap insurance, it's no, a no-brainer. There is more and more emphasis being placed on assets from the point of view of reliability, maintainability, and resilience. Equipment is aging, usually requiring more maintenance, repair, or replacement. Against that need is a workforce that is retiring, leaving little time for the traditional method of time-based maintenance. What is needed for asset managers, maintenance engineers, and operation personnel is an easy-to-reach summary of the overall condition of their assets. Dynamic Metrics is a visualization and asset management system for power generation, transmission, and distribution assets. This system provides a common platform for multi-purpose analysis through the acquisition of existing data and is used to determine a holistic and comprehensive assessment of the asset condition in real time. In this demo video, we will walk through some of the key points of the Metrics Suite to show how we can help you realize the full power of your data. Dynamic Metrics offers an easy and secure login with a configurable role-based authentication to define who can see what. It has an active directory integration into your IT system for ease of use. Let's take a high-level look on the condition of our assets, the Dynamic Health Index. 
The assets are ranked by health index, criticality, and risk, which helps to plan and determine priority for working on assets and capital programming. It's vital to understand the big picture impact of asset health on a network operation. The operations view focuses on real-time operational data. It displays temperatures, loads, and overall operations health. In this section, you can perform what-if analysis in order to better prepare for contingency situations. In the maintenance area of the system, you're able to drill down to get the details of an asset's health. You can see alarms, trend data of measured and calculated values, and review historical offline data such as laboratory oil testing. Here you can enter maintenance and inspection tasks and can retrieve different types of data from systems such as Cascade. The map view shows asset condition data broken down into substation views. The markers allow a quick view of which substations have assets being monitored. The color of the marker is an easily identifiable indication of whether the asset is healthy or not. Filters can be applied to only show assets with certain health conditions. If managers are interested in a certain region, it's easy to see the region-specific data. Simply go to the left drop-down box titled Select Region and select the region that is of interest. This will take you to a page with regional substation monitoring data and health index information. The beauty of a system that allows multiple data sets to be correlated means that measurements can be used to reinforce data analysis. A good example of this is the ability to correlate bushing leakage current obtained from a bushing monitor and temperature from a temperature sensor. The system allows these two data sets to be compared and, when put together, show a strong pattern of activity that relates to common bushing failure modes. The top bar shows an overview of the asset including name, number of active alarms retrieved by the various monitoring systems, and the dynamic health index number. There is a bar to the right of the index number, which is a visual representation of the number itself. The equipment detail area shows general asset information. You can see a photo of the asset, which gives visual identification, nameplate, and other asset-specific information, such as the manufacturer, rated power, and installation date. The colored bars shown here give you more detailed information about the dynamic health index number. This helps you indicate why a health index number may be bad and will assist you in determining which part of the transformer requires maintenance. Depending on how it's configured, this information can be viewed as independent bars for each parameter or as a spider chart. You can drill down even further to understand more about each point of the health index. At this point, it's useful to start analyzing data. If you click on the main tank tab, you can see the condition data that's been collected for analysis, review, or export. Several trending tools are provided for easy data visualization. Visual representations of analytics are shown. These can be manipulated to review condition items. Some asset-specific information is recorded on the left for informational purposes, as this can affect the interpretation of some data. The trending and charting tools are provided to allow comparison of different relevant parameters. Flexible charting tools make this quick and easy. You can easily turn off and on data lines. Here, we've made it easy to see the correlation between load, ambient, and winding temperature. It's easy to move around the data to investigate different parts of the trend. If there appears to be missing or questionable data, it is easy to see the full data table for review or download. The data table contents match the date range of the data shown in the trend and the search box allows for quick location of specific data points. If you need external analysis, data can be exported as CSV or Excel formats. Charts may be useful for sharing with colleagues or importing into reports. You can export charts as an image or can print directly. Note that parameters displayed are the default parameters and are based on available data from condition inputs. Additional data may introduce new trend lines on charts or whole new charts completely. Selection of parameters to show can be customized. When parameters from different parts of the asset need to be compared to determine correlations between various events, this tab provides charting tools that allow this. For example, when the PD monitor is showing severe PD activity in the transformer, there will likely be gas generation. 
The DGA page shows oil test data which has been gathered from the installed DGA monitor or can be accumulated from offline lab reports. This can automatically pull data from a database, automatically read lab reports in Excel format, and can handle manual data entry. The DGA page has the ability to trend data for review and is able to perform DGA analysis. This expert system performs the industry standard analysis of oil test data to determine causes of gassing. You can easily correlate PD monitor data with specific gassing signatures. Automatic analysis includes Duval triangles, Duval pentagons, Rogers ratio, key gas, CO2, CO ratio, and more. Analysis is performed on both online and offline data. As you can see in this example, over the course of seven days, this unit that already had a higher than normal level of combustible gases experienced a rapid rise in hydrogen and acetylene, with the other gases remaining relatively constant. The Duval Triangle details the changing fault type, the ability to monitor multiple gases and diagnose the fault conditions using built-in diagnostic tools provides the ability to make important decisions about the transformer, in this case the decision to disconnect immediately and carry out an investigation under safer conditions to the worker and surrounding environment. Dynamic Metrics helps leverage the power of the data that is collected by using data from many sources, storing it, and analyzing it. This concept is applicable to other asset types, for example, HV circuit breakers. The circuit breaker view is similar to the transformer view. The top bar shows the name and overall health assessment. There is a photo of the asset with key information about it, including nameplate and installation data. There's a breakdown of the health index and detailed data below. Like the transformer health index, the breaker dynamic health index is calculated using all available data and is weighted based on the main components of the breaker, controls, insulation, mechanical, and timing. The health index provides a top-level indication into the condition of the asset, while the breakdown lets you know what is causing the condition to be bad and indicates what may need to be addressed to resolve the issue. The Overview tab shows top-level data that can be used as a first glance at the breaker state, position, voltages, currents, motor runs, and more. On the right is the breaker timing from the last operation. The Gauges tab shows visual representation of breaker data which is representative of the type of gauge that may be found on site. The SF6 tab shows you the gas data for a gas insulated breaker. This information is aimed at maintenance crews who may be planning regassing of breakers or operations personnel who may be looking forward to see if a low gas lockout is forthcoming. It shows the trend of gas density and gives detailed gas information including trending, forecasting, and alarms. Batteries are also a key component of the substation and can be incorporated into an asset management strategy. A loss of DC supply at a substation puts the protection system at jeopardy and monitoring systems are available to monitor these assets. This data can be included within metrics. The Battery Dynamic Health Index is comprised of the various characteristics of the battery system weighted appropriately. For example, individual cells have a lower impact over the whole string parameters. All of these parameters are combined to a single condition assessment for the battery bank. Just like other assets, condition data is retrieved and stored in metrics. The data can be trended and displayed such as to the best review of the data. Many battery monitoring systems provide intercell resistance which determines whether there are bad connections between cells and cell resistance which determines the health of the individual cell. Dynamic metrics shows the current state of these parameters in an easy to see trend chart. It's also possible to trend the values over time to see where changes are occurring. Here is an example of an unhealthy battery. Dynamic Metrics has identified a single battery cell with voltage outside of the acceptable range and has adjusted the battery string's health index accordingly. Now they know they need to address the problem with cell 21 on their next site visit. Utilities have NERC requirements to provide battery reporting on a periodic basis. Various offline testing must be done throughout the year. Dynamic Metrics can incorporate this offline or online inspection data and automatically produce and archive the required reports which helps utilities meet their NERC compliance requirements as well as give an easy way to review the detailed data of a battery system. 
These reports are automatically generated on a time period and the report PDF files are stored on a file share for easy access. In order to see the monitoring system alarms across the monitoring fleet, Dynamic Metrics pulls the alarm data for easy review. This is initially shown as a top-level view on the Alarms tab and shows all active alarms across the system. You can filter based on asset type and alarm level. Drilling down to a specific asset is as simple as clicking the alarm name. As you can see, it's redirected us to a specific asset's Alarms tab. Now, this tab allows a view of current alarms as well as the alarm history which makes alarm analysis easier Dynamic Metrics is an easy-to-use visualization and asset management tool that gives you the ability to put your data in context and make important decisions about asset management. For more information, visit www.dynamicratings.com. Dynamic Ratings is dedicated to designing and manufacturing innovative monitoring, control systems, sensors, advanced analytics, software tools, and communication solutions for electrical apparatus. The Dynamic Ratings B100 Series Electronic Temperature Monitoring System accurately measures top oil temperature. It calculates up to three winding temperatures using current industry accepted methods and standards, provides accurate LTC temperature monitoring options accomplished with two RTDs, one for main and one for OLTC tanks. It is dual gradient capable for transformers with oil pumps. It provides cooling control and operates relay outputs for alarms and trips. The backlit LCD screen is visible from 60 feet or 18 meters, even in bright sunlight. It cycles through temperature information. The B100 is supplied in a cast aluminum enclosure rated to IP66 NEMA 4 ingress protection. This level of protection provides complete protection from dust, oil, and other non-corrosive materials, complete protection from contact with enclosed equipment, protection from water, even from powerful jets of water. The B100 comes with multiple communication options and includes industry standard protocols, IEC 61850, DNP Modbus, 100 base FX fiber Ethernet port, SC or ST connectors offered. 100 base TX copper Ethernet port, RJ45. Serial communications through optional fiber or copper port. The B100 is also available with the Dynamic Ratings iBridge system for communications over pre-existing wiring. The B100 is easy to install and commission. Programming can be done either from the unit face controls or from a PC. The PC configuration is web browser based, no software install needed. For top oil, you only need to enable the number of alarms or control points you want. Then set the temperature points and the bandwidths for the temperatures. LTC tank and winding hotspots are set using the same process. You can select if the alarm or control is or is not logged. The unit can be configured from the face controls. It is easy to update and manage on site. After the unit is operational, the top oil and three winding hotspots are displayed on the monitor. The large display can be seen 60 feet or 18 meters from the device even in bright sunlight, and cycles through the critical temperature information. The Dynamic Ratings B100 Electronic Temperature Monitor is rugged, reliable, and ready to communicate and control your transformer temperatures. Can you see sound? Sound is everywhere, even when you can't hear it. Are you missing out on the true potential of sound? 
Noiseless Acoustics knows how to transform sound into valuable information. We are a company based in Finland, a country known for innovation and silent landscapes. We determine exactly where a sound is coming from and what it means in ways that no other method can match. Noiseless Acoustics offers solutions that help you turn sound into value. With the NL camera, you can literally make sound visible, even when you can't hear it. With NL Sense, our comprehensive asset monitoring solution, you can add predictive maintenance to your existing assets. So, why is the information carried by sound so useful? In power transmission systems, the NL camera can recognize failing components at an early stage, before it's too late. In pressurized piping systems with air or gas, the NL camera can detect leakages. In pressurized piping systems with liquids such as water, NL Sense pinpoints the exact location of leaks. In mechanical systems, NL Sense recognizes malfunctioning machines and pinpoints the exact cause of the problem. We can also gather data about temperature, humidity and electrical current. The data that Noiseless Acoustics gathers is transferred to the cloud, where it is translated into valuable asset diagnostics. The results are easily displayed. Noiseless Acoustics also provides convenient ways to integrate the diagnostics into your existing system. The comprehensive solution allows for faster and easier problem detection and intelligent long-term monitoring. Noiseless Acoustics Solutions allows for predictive maintenance and smart equipment repairs. Detecting problems as early as possible prevents big expenses over time. With Noiseless Acoustics, you really can see.